Hi, it's Geeske aka Gigi and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you my sacred space that I have in the corner of my uh, living room. And uh, I also want to show you how I uh, changed my altar to a summer altar. Uh, I have a seasonal altar and today we are going to change up um, everything that's on my altar. So uh, let's have a look. And um, I will show you my sacred space. Here it is. It's just a... Um, uh, table and um, I have the decks that I'm working with uh, this month uh, some jewelry that I have to um, redo and um, there are a few of my journals and I just um, uh, changed this up uh, these big crystals were in my cupboard uh, before on the shelf and um, you couldn't really see them, so um, now I have uh, placed them in the corner of my um, windowsill. And this is a polychrome jasper that my husband um, picked, uh, picked. This is a rose quartz, a rough ro rose quartz, a rough green aventurine. Those are a few of my uh, favorite crystals. And this is a stone that my son uh, polished um, don't know how that is called in English um, and this is my tip of the day I bought this at the garden center they uh, sell this per kilo and it was like 250 250 euros per kilo so it was really really cheap um, don't know if they have this in every garden center but I found this in uh, the place where we were living um, before. So here, uh, usually this is a place where I put my journals and the pages that need to dry. So it's not always as neat as it is now. And here I have my crystal grid. This one is for more rest. This is my personal uh, grid. I also sell um, other grids in my uh, Etsy shop and my Dutch store, Aardekracht Kristallen. And also the crystals um, I sell separately. And here are my cards of the day. I'm working with the Work Your Light Oracle and the Moonchild Tarot um, this month. And I'm really enjoying that. And this is my seasonal altar. So it's an altar by Atelier de Noost in uh, Holland. Um, it has these um, tree uh, shaped shelving or whatever it's called. And um, here you can um, put things on. I have this uh, flower, this fake flower thing from Action. I'm going to leave that on for the summer and I have some LED uh, lighting. Um, those are not particularly um, helpful in the summer because it's um, not dark until 10 o'clock or something. And this is the first tree of life I ever made. I have a tutorial on how to make one of these on my channel. I'll link it below. This is a fairy or a, an angel. I, I got this for my mother for my first, 40th birthday. And I have some uh, crystals and I also have this beautiful mother uh, figure. Uh, so, yeah. uh, it's made by Margriet de Kraan or something, I'm not sure. Uh, if I remember her name right. This I found in the forest, but I'm going to put this away because um, it's not really useful on my um, altar anymore and you can't really see what's in it. So this is also a fake flower and a feather that I found. So we're gonna put this there. 
and I have some crystals and my flower of life, seed of life, and I just got this. Someone uh, created this for me, and um, I really love that, so I'm gonna be using this again. Uh, so, also I have a little gnome. Uh, and some, this was the spring card. Maybe I'm going to, that's better, you can see it better like this. Okay, so this is my Lemurian quartz. Um, uh, pistache calcite, I have a few of those in the shop, uh, smaller ones. Um, my amethyst and my uh, rose quartz um, heart and I have this Kambaba Jasper heart that I got from my friend for my uh, for 40th birthday so and I have a fluoride um, elephant the elephant is one of my spirit animals and then I had this card that you can't see really well on my altar, so I'm not going to reuse that. So here's my here's my um, mother figure. And I have this. This is the combined oracles of the chrysalary, the herbiary, and the bestiary. And I have a walkthrough of those in on my channel. Uh, I want to make a bag for this someday and this is a little plate that is from my grandmother that I got from my uh, mother um, and I love to have that in my sacred space so now um, we're going to change up the cloth I have this flower of life cloth in um, green and I bought this this yellow cloth and I'm going to uh, cut out a piece to use on my altar I also have a salt lamp and this quote some people look for a beautiful place others make a place beautiful and I got that for my husband so um, we're going to cut out a piece of that and I want to see I want to show you the rest of my space here's my bucket full of um, fabrics and um, yarn and I have this um, chakra hanging that I made myself there's a tutorial and uh, one more um, physical item in my shop on Etsy and this is um, my cupboard. I just rearranged this. This is all the crystals that I sell. And this is my um, personal collection. Uh, so yes, I have a Mother Earth. Here are my uh, oracles. And here are all my tarot uh, decks. And I made a tarot cloth. I just bought a HP um, sprocket. Here are uh, some of my journals and some other papers and stuff. Um, here's all my jewelry making uh, equipment and some all the jewelry that I sell in my shops. Um, so yeah, this is just a place where I put everything that I don't know where to put uh, else <laughs> someplace else um, and here is some papers craft papers and my musical uh, stuff for my harp and my flute and um, so that is my sacred space so I have a tree so now I'm going to cut out uh, the fabric and we're going to rearrange all the stuff on my altar. So I put down the, cl the yellow cloth 
and I uh, removed the LED lighting um, because I don't need it in the summer and I'm going to redo it in autumn I think. Um, now I have uh, found the summer card from Angels and Ancestors and I'm going to put it here and the spirit animal of summer is the bee. So there is the bee with the summer and I want to change this um, affirmation every week I think and it's from Spirit Junkie uh, card deck and this one is I claim my desires I hold great visions I'm ready to receive so I'm working on receiving I have been working on receiving for a long time now already but I can always work on it some more so that's the basis um, and now I want to use this um, golden triangle um, I had uh, another golden triangle uh, on my altar and this one is from my bedroom but I didn't think this was great for my bedroom so I want to uh, use it here uh, in the living room instead um, so we're gonna place it right here beautiful amethyst cluster mm, and this this one this clear quartz I have um, had for a very long time I got this when I was about 12 years old from my aunt and it has always traveled with me to every home I have ever lived in um, yeah except the, the first one I lived in when I was a baby until I was um, three years old so I'm going to place the the crystallary bestiary herbiary cards here let's pull one for today and today is be soft and listen blue topaz I'm going to read that in a guidebook uh, when I'm done with my altar so already loving this I'm going to put my mother here and um, my fluorite elephant and um, yes this one I need right here and um, first I wanted to incorporate lots of things from nature from the forest I live near but um, that doesn't really work for me I have found and so we're gonna put that one there so these crystals are going back to my um, back here people always say oh you do you can't store crystals on top of each other or um, like in one uh, um, container but that is not my um, experience I always do it like this and I'm going to put this one golden healer for the summer so summer and then my little gnome I'm going to put him there so now it's like this and let's see yeah I want to do something here um, gonna think if I have something to put there and I think I have one on my keychain so I will get that one so I changed the color of this uh, ribbon it was uh, black before and didn't really like it so I've changed it to a white ribbon 
and I have this. I had this on my keychain. Some chakra crystals and a tree of life. Also with a white ribbon. So this is my new summer altar. And um, yeah, I really like it. Lots of crystals. And um, yeah, every item has some special significance for me. And um, I know it's not summer solstice yet, but it is very summery weather. So I um, thought it was a good, uh, good time to change my altar. And um, so this was my sacred space. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, comment below if you have an altar or sacred space in your home. Um, I have had uh, little. I never really had a sacred space before. I had a little corner in our uh, dining room uh, in our uh, previous home, but this is really a place for me to sit and journal and pull cards and do all that fun stuff. So uh, I'm really happy with it. And if you want to see more of me and my creative spirituality then please subscribe to my channel and then i will see you in the next video so bye